Now, good afternoon, it's uh, Stefano from AC Systems and uh, I will guide you through the config a PLAN network with uh, one PCO controller and uh, two PGD1 displays one locally connected to the controller and the second one is remotely connected through a T-Con accessory uh, typically this is an installation where uh, the remote display is installed uh, by a reception where uh, it duplicates exactly the same screens of the local display. So the, for demonstration port, the PCO controller is already configured with address uh, number one. So I will go first the PGD display with uh, address uh, 31. The first thing to do is to press the buttons, uh, the three buttons on the right hand side of the display together simultaneously until the following screen appears. So the first display has address 31. We have to change the 32 that you see on the right hand corner. So with the enter key we move the cursor on the 32, we decrease this value to 31 and uh, we confirm with end the field. Now, as soon as the display address has changed, uh, we have to suddenly press another key in order to change uh, the sharing um, properties of the display. So I'll show you how to do that. Not always is uh, this will be allowed uh, straight away, as you can see, I press a number of, uh, of buttons but nothing appears. No worries, it's quite normal we'll repeat the operation once again so we have to press the three buttons again um, press enter to change the address in this case we can uh, change the, the board address and then press enter straight away as you can see a new screen appears here I have to configure the two terminals connected into the network and define the property which is shared, it's not private. So, the first address is address number 31, as we said. And uh, by pressing enter, I confirm it and I can change the, the property. In this case, we will leave it shared. If I press enter once again, I now have the opportunity to change the address of the second terminal and here I have to map the whole display displays in the network so I have to configure here also the remote display that will be connected at the later stage it's important to do this configuration on a point to point and not to create conflicts into the network so make sure that the terminal 32 is disconnected so we can change this address to 32 which will be the address of the display that will be connected later on. Confirm and uh, change the property from private to shared. Confirm there is no third terminal in the network. We can leave it as it is. The cursor will go to no, will confirm the changes by pressing yes and press enter and the network has now been configure so this display has actually been configured with address 31 now we can change display we go to the next one this is my second display power it disconnect it's very important to disconnect the address that we have just been configured and we will connect the second display which may have different sort of addresses. Now is a chance that I can see and view the um, this information, uh, the information of the of the controller into the network. But we'll repeat the operation. We press the three buttons, and here we set the address of the second display by pressing Enter. We put this to 32. The display address has changed, we have to press suddenly uh, very quickly all the buttons but nothing has uh, changed. Uh, we, we were not able to view the property page of the screen so we'll have to redo the operation once again, the, the procedure. So we press the three buttons on the right hand side, 
confirm address 32 confirm address number 1 which is the the board of the the board address of the pico confirm it and then suddenly press another key we have to map here the, the terminal addresses like per the other display so address terminal 1 is 31 and is shared address terminal 2 is 32 and is shared and uh, we can save this configuration and uh, we're done so now you can uh, go uh, in the location of um, the, the remote display and plug it in and you will see the same information on both displays so you can navigate through both displays I hope this has been a useful tutorial uh, visit our website for more tutorials, more videos, more information on products on sale from Corel uh, www.i-acs.co.uk Thank you.